Welcome to the demonstration of Cloud Tester, an enterprise automation platform by Sonera Technologies. Let's get started. The first thing users see when they log into Cloud Tester is the dashboard. We can view test case development and test case execution status by application module. We can select to filter by release. Within each module, we can view test case metrics by status and we can drill down a little deeper. At a summary level, we can, we can review the development status of test cases. We can select to highlight modules, various statuses, and again, review them at a summary level. Here we see completed test cases and test cases that have been reviewed and signed off on. Cloud Tester integrates with various defect tracking systems. Here we can see defects by status and by severity, all within one application. Let's take a look at a test case. Users have the capability to search for test cases by various methods. They can search by application, module, or function. They can also search by keyword or test case ID. Let's take a look at the HCM hiring employee test case. The first thing we see is the documentation and validation page where we say screenshots that we've captured while the test case has been captured and configured within the Cloud Tester platform. All the documentation is downloadable. We can generate a PDF with images of the pre-test documentation. Here we see details of the test case. We see a screenshot and a description. The description is configurable. We can add as little or as much data as required, as required by the client. In the activity log, we can see specific activities that have taken place with the test case, whether it be downloaded or exported or run. We can manage test data for small data sets. We can manually enter specific data that is required for the test case. We can iterate through if it's several items. We can query uh, if systems have access to the database or we can upload large data sets via a CSV or Excel file. In the run history, we see each run of the test case. It's pass or fail where it was completed, where it was run, start and end times. We can see a summary of the results. We see the environment, the browser, total execution time, any failed steps are called out initially. Then we see the test step and subsequent screenshot associated with it. The results files are downloadable as well. We again see a summary of the execution results. Any failed steps are called out at the top of the documentation. Perform steps in detail with validations, associated screenshots. And at the end of the document, we display each step of the test case along with a result, whether it be pass or fail. Let's take a look at a test set. Test set allows us to group together independent functional tests into larger, more complex flows. We employ a simple drag and drop capabilities. Test sets can be run in parallel as these two would be or sequentially. These two test cases are dependent on one each other as indicated by the, the orange highlight, the second test case. We can review the release or releases, or we can see execution level metrics, obviously pass and fail rates for each release. Gives us an overall holistic view of the status of each release, 
gives us a historical view as well. Thank you for taking the time and we hope you enjoy it.